Hello, everybody. Welcome back inside Globe Life Field, the Globe Life Field High School Showcase. Marcus and his IMG Academy to knock off the country's best team, shot full of D1 talent. This has been a remarkable game, so much fun. So we head to the bottom of the seventh. It's Marcus 6, IMG Academy 5. And it's up to James Wood. Here they are, strike away from a huge upset. 2-2 two -two pitch. People look at him and say, oh, he's a big kid. It comes so easy for him. But if you really know the game of baseball, it's much harder for a kid with long arms and long legs to put the bat on the ball just because your levers are longer. It's a little chip on the shoulder to kind of want to prove people that, oh, I don't have to tell you about it, but I can just go out and kind of do it. Oh, 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 oh. This ball is gone. Tim goes up to the seat. Every time you come into IMG's campus, you see 2019 championship, now you have the football, you have basketball, and it's focused like we want to have one of those big signs there coming in. Coming to IMG, between the weight room and having the six full-size fields and they're definitely the best high school coaches in the country and I think if you really just apply yourself and really grind and put your hardest in the, in the practice and workouts and games and all that stuff, I saw as a place where you can only go up. There's a lot of hype when we go travel and play in these tournaments. He'll walk by and these little kids, you know, will go like, oh, that's, hey, that's James Wood. Hey, it's pretty surreal. Like, and you're like, you know, as a coach, you're like, these are high school kids. I think we've also seen how capricious some of this stuff can be, like the ranking stuff and what people say about you. You have to be self-aware or self-contained and not influenced or swayed by some of that outside stuff. I don't think there was one day this whole fall and spring that we haven't had at least 30 and 50 scouts here. You know, and it's a lot of pressure, but you know, you gotta kinda, you know, tell the kids to just go have fun and play, play the way they're supposed to play and, and go from there. Dealing with the hype, like building around me, I sort of don't really like look too much into it because you know baseball is a real humbling game so I think you always got to stay even, don't get too high, don't get too low. I grew up in only Maryland, it's a small suburb like about 45 minutes from DC. Grew up there playing basketball and baseball. I just remember he had no youth bat or anything. We had a <laughs> He had a hat that we found in the garage from the people who lived in the house before us. Going into high school my freshman year, I think a lot of people always saw like the potential in me. I was sort of more like a what if or like if he like does all this stuff. And along with like working out and getting stronger, getting faster, all that kind of stuff, I think it all sort of like, it sort of came together at a good time, like my junior and senior years of high school. You know, James coming into the summer was kind of on the fringe and it all changed with a couple of at-bats, but he was still the same kid. He was still putting in the same kind of work, he had the same skill set. And so it, it does become very clear that sometimes it depends on who sees you when and how it happens. And then that changes perception, but it doesn't change who you are. Going from high school to college or to pro ball, obviously they're two huge steps. It's a totally different game. There's always someone, you know, below you always trying to take your job. You know, you got to take advantage of things and want it more than the other kids do. To have your name mentioned with some of these really good players in the country, but you still have to keep working and you still have to go out and prove every day that you want to get better and better and better. It's really like a life-changing decision. A whole lot rides on it, and I think to you know, sort of sit back and reflect to make sure we make the right decision.